To the untrained eye, this might look like any other day for an Ordnance Marine, building guided bomb units to be used by the pilots of VMFA 314. But if you take a closer look, you'll see something a little different. There's a lot of different Marines that are here that are in different units. So, for example, I'm from Station Ordnance originally, so I wouldn't normally be working with munitions. There's a couple other guys who work strictly with the trailers. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that we're doing now isn't stuff that we would normally be doing. So there's a lot of cross-training going on as well. This cross-training not only benefits the Marine, but the Marine Corps as well. I think it'll give everyone else some more, I guess, elasticity when it comes to their job titles. So if, like, everyone will be able to do different things. There's not just going to, they won't be stabilized in like one position in the MOS. This chance for cross-training and professional growth is part of what Chief Warrant Officer Benjamin Jacks wants his Marines to get from exercise talisman saber. Most important thing is, first and foremost, the, the professional experiences and, and professional growth. Addition to that is the cultural experiences of seeing how uh, other countries live, how they operate, how their services operate. Uh, it's just a, a nice broad base for any Marine to, to see another service. These Marines experience that cultural side when they retrieve the used ordnance alongside the Australian ammo technicians. Reporting from Royal Australian Air Force Base in Townsville, Australia, I'm Corporal Bradley Hansen.